This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Hello and welcome to Walk the Talk. I am Shekhar Gupta and my guest this week is somebody one could describe as the chief custodian of the most valuable brand in Indian democracy, the Election Commissioner of India. Ingo Palaswami, Chief Election Commissioner, welcome to Walk the Talk. Thank you. Good morning to you. And you walk your talk. <laughs> Bihar elections, UP elections now. Yeah. On to Goa. Well, it's been an exciting period the last uh, two months, two and a half months nearly. And uh, what, does, what does the UP election tell us? That's what. Are we satisfied? Yes. We are satisfied. Happy? Yes, happy. But also sad. I must say that um, it's a mixed feeling with, with which we have seen the election uh, go through. Some enormous amounts of forces. How, how many yeah, companies? In fact, an uh, average of 680 companies will mean for seven phases nearly 4 lakh 90,000 or almost 5 lakh. Uh, a half uh, million. Yeah, service personnel. Now, this is not a very happy situation. This, and but these are all from central paramilitary forces and other states? States. Uh, mostly <coughs> comprising of the central paramilitary forces, but also supplemented by the state forces. The fact is that every political party, when we met them just before the elections, every, every one of them said, we don't have any faith in the state police force, bring in the central paramilitary force. That is a sad day. After all, the state force is the one which has to uh, be in this state and do the work for the state. If you can't uh, trust him, I this, this idea of bringing neutral forces within your own country. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 neutral forces within the own country, yeah. It's, it's, it's a sad day. I, that is one issue on which I'll certainly feel that I'm not happy about. I hope the day will come when uh, we, don't, we don't even need any forces. But this has not become a set practice. Yeah, this, this is the demand made by every, uh, every, in every state, every opposition party wants this. Which is, which I, I would say, it's, we need to uh, think. I mean, uh, at least the, the um, politicians need to think why is it happening. And I, I thought one, one of the channels, the correspondent said, if there was, uh, when nobody believed, excepting the election commission, that there can be a free and fair poll in, uh, in Uttar Pradesh. But what was the biggest challenge that came up? And don't just talk of UP, talk of UP, Bihar, well, Punjab in, in between. But I think this is, uh, this is one area where Punjab is still less wild than the rest. See, the, the, the problem both in uh, Bihar and in UP, uh, to considerably lesser extent in Punjab or uh, other places, is the, is the criminalization. A large number of uh, people with criminal antecedents fighting the elections then huge, the, the numbers, all right, and the huge numbers of uh, voters, polling stations, all that we can take care of stride. But the criminalization meant that you have to be extra vigilant, you have to make special arrangements. I, I would say, okay, we, we covered to an extent, but not necessarily <coughs> all. <coughs> but is there a reason for us to worry when the Chief Election Commissioner says that he's worried about criminalization, but he's not able to do anything about it? Yes, I think so. I think a time has come when a very serious thought has to be given to this. We made our recommendations almost three, four years ago that people with um, serious criminal uh, allegations against them should be kept out of the poll frame. In fact, we didn't, we didn't do it in a light way. We said anybody, any, anybody accused of an offence which is uh, you know, five years or more, where the sentence could be five years or more, keep them out. If there is a charge sheet issue, not merely on the basis not of merely F on an FIR. FIR. And uh, we assume, I mean, it will be correct to say that once a charge sheet and is is, is is that what you are recommending now? That that's one way of weeding out the... Yeah. And we, we covered it by, I mean, if anybody had a, an apprehension that uh, last minute, uh, just before the uh, election started, cases, cases can be, be filed. filed. Yes. We said you keep a six months uh, moratorium period. If within six months of the uh, you know, starting of the election, if any FIR had been filed or any charge sheet had been issued, ignore it. You go for uh, a thing which is earlier to that. So to avoid this kind of uh, apprehension that you know there will be some uh, cases brought in just for keeping the opponents out of the race. Of the reforms that uh, people talk about, many of us talk about, that you've talked about, I mean you as and your colleagues have talked about, uh, one thing on which I haven't seen corruption, yes, Booth capturing, yes. Malpractices, yes. Uh, now keeping the criminals out. These are all matters of public debate. 
And uh, I don't think uh, we were so aware how strongly the election commission had taken a position on this. But look at an issue like how our leaders are now elected. People come to power with 20% vote, 22% vote, 24% vote. Are you also looking at some long-term reform in that? Well, the commission has not considered it, but uh, personally speaking, uh, I would like to take it up in the commission. See, in, in Bihar, when we analyzed the results uh, of the previous Bihar elections, we found in many constituencies, a person with, say, 40% or even less, he gets elected. The votes polled themselves are 50% or less than the total right. number of voters. Right. Then on that, this person gets 40% or less because there's a three-way split of the right. votes. Uh, or in UP, there may be a four-way split now. Yeah. So I think we need, to, we need to consider because there is so much of fragmentation of the polity. Right. That uh, people, uh, there are too many contestants and uh, the, the winner does not get even 50% uh, of the votes polled, not to talk of 50% of the, of the electorate. So right. this time I think we, we need to think that I think the solution is difficult but is worthwhile doing that the winner must have 50% 50, 50 plus one vote. That should be brought in, not the so, first pass post so, basi so basically we get out of this first pass the post, post system, trap. system, yeah. It's a serious suggestion. It's, it's a it's, it's uh, you know, people will immediately ask, saying that uh, doesn't it mean that you have to do it two times over? Yes. Like the French app, uh, you know, you have a runoff. Runoff, yeah. But so, in my view, it is worth it. So is that your personal view? Is that it's, the view of my, your colleagues no, also? It's my, it's my personal view. Uh, I must clarify this. We didn't discuss it in the commission. But um, this is generally uh, aired by even uh, the previous uh, election commissioners, etc. Right. There are many points they have said that we have to seriously think and I have found in um, I think in, in one uh, uh, one uh, study which we did more than 50 percent of the uh, of the uh, persons elected in uh, Lok Sabha elsewhere get less than 50 percent of the total voter right. strength but votes, votes cast almost about 20 30 percent of the uh, persons elected get less than 50% of the votes cast. Oh, yes. And that you think is not fair? It's, I think I think it doesn't reflect the uh, correct opinion of, I mean, the majority opinion of the of the electorate doesn't get reflected. I also think this is worthwhile for doing for this reason, that today, when there are too many uh, persons on the field, each person appeals to a certain section, certain segment, certain caste. Now, if you insist that he should get 50% of the total votes polled, at least there will be a wider, he needs to, uh, he needs to appeal to a wider uh, spectrum of the, wider part of the spectrum. So, he will not be able to do the divide and poll. Exactly. So, what happens if in a constituency, a candidate wins by any number of votes, but your count shows that he or she has got less than 50% of the votes cast, cast. then you will recommend a runoff? Runoff. Yeah. Between number one and number, number two? Number one and number two. That's all? That's all. And after how much gap? Will, will they be fresh yeah, campaigning? Be, yeah, we can, do, we can do it within a month and a half. The whole thing will become another game then? Yeah, totally. totally. In fact, it, the moment it gets settled down, then the way the candidates are selected will undergo a change. Right. There's some person who is acceptable to a larger uh, uh, audience, a larger uh, uh, group of the, uh, of the electorate. Obviously, the, the selection will migrate towards her. That's what I... Have I, you discussed it with anybody? Either uh, no. senior politicians, no. president of India, no. No. prime minister, we we colleagues? No. We haven't. But, so, so you are articulating this for the first time the first in public? Time. Yeah. But you know, it, who knows, uh, as Victor Hugo said, uh, this might just be an idea whose time has come. Possible. Possible. I think we need to very seriously think about this. I personally feel that because the, this is one way to, to, rid, to prevent the uh, fragmentation of the electorate. So here are the two things uh, that the CEC is now pushing for. One, that there should be some kind of a cutoff for criminalization, which means anybody who has a charge sheet, not an FIR, charge sheet for an offense which could get five, which could get a five-year prison term, should be disqualified. Five years or more. Yeah. Provided this charge sheet was filed six months before the election. Yeah. Right? Uh, that's one. And second, that time has now come to re relook 
at the fundamental way we elect our representatives, representatives which yeah. means let's let, let's junk the first past post the post system, system. and insist on 50%, 50 plus, percent one. plus one votes and yeah. if that is not there then have a runoff runoff yeah and election commissions will have the energy and the stamina yeah only thing is possibly looking at a lighter side we will have worked throughout the year <laughs> <laughs>